Hi guys, welcome to video four. In this video, we're gonna talk about the lab for today as well as the assignment that we're gonna start working on next week. Cool, so hopefully you guys enjoyed the video about use case diagrams, activity diagrams, and UML and the SDLC. That was video three, if you missed it, Go watch that before you watch this because you're not gonna understand what I'm talking about with the assignment and with the lab. So basically, uh, as you can see on the screen here, this is the week one in week, weekly learning folder. And uh, if you haven't already, please, please, please do an introduction in the discussion board here. Click that, tell us a bit about yourself, tell us uh, you know, some hobbies and your programming history. I would love to get to know you guys. Um, and having it written is actually kind of cool because you know I have a terrible memory and I mix up uh, people with names and vases all the time. So uh, if you can do that, I would really appreciate it. Thanks. Uh, the next thing I want you guys to click here is uh, the brainstorming template. So um, you can go through the PowerPoint if you want. That's what I just did on my last video. And basically we, we ended right on the ATM use case. If you continue through it, you can see here is a breakdown of the assignments and projects throughout this semester. And assignment one is gonna be on inception phase. Who would have thought? Uh, anyway, so the assignment two, three, four, five is gonna be, you know, you can see as they're uh, corresponding with uh, design, development, stabilization, and deployment. And then here's our major two projects, a summit of, uh, of all our app and development code, and then a website that supports the app that you made. Cool. So um, basically the very first uh, assignment, and it's not due yet, so don't worry. <laughs> like it's, I know it's just week one, but uh, I do want you guys to start thinking and start working towards brainstorming something that you want to be proud of, something that you want to brand around yourself, something that, you know, when you make this portfolio, which is basically going to be a website, okay, and that's going to be one of the major projects is we're going to make a website, we're going to get a domain name and register it, and then we're going to kind of put all of the apps that you make in this entire course and we're gonna upload them to that website so that we can, you know, look at, uh, for me, my last name is Venaragon. We can look at venaragon.com slash dog walking app. We can look at venaragon.com slash uh, Uber app, or whatever. And you can see all of your apps in one place and have all the documentation there. But in this course, uh, mobile app portfolio, we're also gonna build our own app and it's gonna be our own project, our own brand, and uh, we're gonna start it from scratch. We're gonna use the planning, development, design phase to do that. So I want you guys to start brainstorming. And this is what the Word document looks like. It's nothing crazy, but I just want you to basically make some mental notes and come up with a few ideas over the next week and start planning an app that you wanna develop over the semester. So assignment one is basically gonna involve making that business plan document for what you wanna build for that app and some UML diagrams to go along with it to show the work with your inception phase. So basically here is what uh, you download off of Blackboard for a brainstorming worksheet. It's just a little template, right? All the ideas that come to your mind. Uh, so, you know, you've got one to 10 here. You can make more if you need them. Don't judge or discuss your ideas. Just write them down as they come to you. And then step two, you you just ask yourself like, what ideas uh, can, I, can I solve? What problems do I know? What problems do I know my friends have? Uh, what, can, what could solve them? What other ideas can you think of in the future? What could you do differently? What's an app that exists, but you don't think it's done exactly the way it should have been, or there's something you could tweak to make it better. And then evaluate your options. Once you've written everything down, go through the list and then start circling the ones that pop out at you that think there's a little bit more to it that you can actually kind of dissect and make more out of that problem. Um, make it balanced, realistic, make it that it will last us through the semester. Don't come up with something so simple. You can build it in a week, right? Invent a way to make these ideas into a workable solution. So use this brainstorming um, tool and just start writing those things down. You don't have to upload that yet, but it will be something that I want to see, okay? And then the other thing is these websites here, Miro.com, Bubble, uh, Coggle, and Lucidchart. They're great brainstorming tools. You can go and make like a little mind map and then go off of each little node and start brainstorming little things. Use those to your advantage and um, start brainstorming. Cool. So um, that's going to be basically assignment one. I wanted to open it up for you here and show you what assignment one basically is going to look like. I'm going to zoom in. Cool. It's going to be your brand and business proposal. So basically, I have to hide this thing because it's in the way. 
you're gonna submit your proposal in PDF or docx format. This isn't due yet, so don't worry about this yet. It'll be probably due in a week from now or uh, the week after this week. But basically it's gonna be an introduction and a, a proposal for your brand or your business, your app idea. If you want to do a dog walking, I'm gonna stick with that example because it's kind of fun, okay? You wanna do a dog walking app. So um, here's how you can label your proposal. Your document name will be last name underscore first name and then your student number. Um, and then uh, there will be an outer wrapper page that you'll see on the next page. So I give an example. And then if you wanna do a cover for your own design, that's totally fine. Just do it before, uh, put that on the next page, but then just leave a plain cover like the one shown below. Cool, I'll be grading a lot of these. So just having a uniform cover is awesome. Cool, so this is basically gonna be the breakdown for what's being graded. Um, so I actually really encourage you guys to get on top of this and start working on it now, because I'm giving you the assignment now. It'll be in the assignment section, I'll make it available. But basically, uh, there's gonna be an intro, including your business or brand name, your slogan and your logo. So, you know, have fun with it. Design a logo, come up with a little fun saying that rhymes or something, but don't think too much on it. Don't waste too much time, don't stress it. Don't think this is a life and death decision. It's just something to kind of get those creative juices flowing and get you excited, right? So if I'm gonna come up with a doggy daycare business, right? And I want it to be called um, Possum or uh, Bark B&B &B or something like that, right? Um, so you come up with your, your name and then give an introduction. I am going to build an app that allows dog owners to organize and get their furry friends taken care of by doing da 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 da, da. and that's 15%. Then to a clear verbal description of what the intended system will do with an accompanying use case diagram. Okay, so we talked about use case diagrams today. Um, you're gonna see an example of a use case diagram at the end of this report. Attach your use case diagram to the end of the report. All right, that's in bold and in, in caps. So don't forget that, that's 45%. 20% for the description of your use case, all right, of what the intended system will do, and then 25% for the diagram, okay? Cool. Number three, so that's almost half of it. Don't, don't forget about this. This is very important, 45% of your final grade. <clears throat> Software, hardware, technologies that you could use in the development or the delivery of this project idea. So remember I talked about um, you know, choosing a stack and choosing a, yeah, a, a stack of development tools for your project. That's going to be basically, it, it's not you committing to it, but it's just coming up with the idea of, you know, maybe it would be fun to use Python for this. Or maybe, you know, I've heard of this language before, Java, whatever, and it might work to, to program in Java. Or, you know, I really enjoy my Android class so far this year, and I, I like developing Android. I have an Android, so I want to do this on Android. So I'm going to use Android Studio. I'm going to use, uh, you know, SQL for my database, or I'm going to use Firebase for my database because I want to integrate it with Google's Firebase system. Come up with some of the technologies that you like and list them and why you chose them. Okay, you don't have to use Android Studio. If you want to do this on iOS or cross-platform, then you're totally free to do that. I also uh, teach a web application uh, class. So if you want to do it through React or Flutter, um, then do it through that. This is 10%, just talking about the technologies and why you chose them. Uh, this, is a, this is a big one that people forget, but it's 5%, so it's just a sentence. So don't forget this one. What do you hope to learn from doing uh, this suggested project? You know, like at the end of the day, I hope to learn like maybe how truly difficult it is to make a fully fledged system and document it along the way. And um, I'm really excited to, you know, have a final product that I can show off to a potential employer. Uh, five, research on what the system, what systems already exist and who your competitors are. So right now, if this was my project and I was making that doggy daycare app um, for people who can walk the people's dogs, who are my competitors? excuse me, who are my competitors and how is my system gonna offer a competitive advantage? We talked about a competitive advantage. What makes you different? What makes you better? How are you gonna twist your thing so it's a little bit different and makes you the more attractive option? What is different? What is different about my daycare service or my dogging walk, dog walking service, okay? 
and who already exists. So those are two things there. List who already exists and why you're better than them. And then the target audience you wish to reach and how you wish to reach them. So I am wanting to reach obviously dog owners and how am I gonna reach them? Well, maybe I'll put ads up or marketing um, with a pet food company because dog owners have to buy pet food or maybe I'll go to PetSmart and I'll start putting my services there. Maybe I'll partner with PetSmart and put something on their website. Maybe I'll do Facebook, right? So it's totally up to you. You can come up with some fun things here. Uh, it doesn't have to be like a, you know, you actually come up with a marketing plan. Just come up with a couple ideas to show me that you thought about it and that you're brainstorming. If you have questions, there's my email. And then below this is an example of what I want to see. So here's the cover page, project app name, your business proposal for semester one, and then your first name, last name, student number. And then... Here is the example. You've got your logo, slogan. Have fun with those. Don't stress about them. The business name here. So, you know, uh, Bark b, b And then the program name. And then, you know, this is going to be dog walking and doggy daycare um, mobile application. With my dog walking daycare mobile application, Da, 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 in the description here. Okay, this is the description. Please see diagram one. This is where you're going to reference your use case. Um, that describes how this system works. Da, 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 da. The actors are da, 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 da. the users or the actors are the same thing. The system is da, 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 da. this is using an include statement or an uh, extends statement, etc. Okay. Then there will be a number of components to this project. Da, 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 da. You know, I'm going to use cross plot platform. I'm going to use Java. I'm going to use Google, whatever. And then the technologies and frameworks used. Okay, sorry. This is the Java Firebase technology programming section. This is going to be talking about the number of components. So this is going to use, uh, I'm going to have a mobile app. I'm going to also have a website. I'm going to have uh, I'm going to have an app basically for dog walkers, and then I'm going to have a different login for, for dog owners, right? I'm going to have two systems there. And then you kind of describe that. Okay, so this doesn't have to be a huge section. These are the components of the project. These are the technologies used in the project. Cool, and then what do you hope to learn from doing this project? A little sentence here, blah, 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 blah. I hope to learn this. Existing systems? Well, uh, there's already uh, this app out there, and my app's going to be better because... And then who's my target audience? Well, I want to reach dog owners and they're going to choose my app because it's targeted at a younger audience, whatever. And then here's your use case diagram at the bottom. Cool. So that's going to be assignment one. Start working on it now. It's going to be due. Um, I want to look at the dates here. I'm not going to give an exact date for you yet. Let me just pause and check the calendar. All right, so it'll be due September 20th, which is a Monday. So you'll have the weekend and next week to ask me questions about it. But basically, it's going to be due in 7, 8, 9, 10 days. All right, so you're writing a blurb. You're coming up with ideas. You're brainstorming about what you want your brand to be, your company, your business, your app idea. And then you're going to make this little business proposal for me. Cool. Um, coming back to Blackboard, okay? So that's the 20th of September that that's going to be due at 11.59. Coming back to Blackboard, um, that's the PowerPoint, that's the brainstorming template, lab one in class. Um, if you click this, basically I just want a screenshot of a UML diagram that you make. If you want to do it for bank system, do it for bank system. If you want to do it for a different system that you come up with, I would totally encourage that. Be creative with it, challenge yourself. Um, 10 points possible, this is gonna be marked. And then I also want you to upload a domain name idea. So I want you to start thinking about what your company name is gonna be and what the website will be because we're gonna be making a website as well. So you know you need to start thinking about that because sometimes the website name you wanna come up with doesn't exist. 
it's already taken. So you need to do that. Um, so upload that in the text and then attach the picture file here. And then that's your homework. Start working on the brainstorming and inception phase for your app idea. Awesome. Okay, cool. Coming back out of that, there's additional reading here. That's really good. Introduction to the SDLC, System Development, Software Development Lifecycle, sorry. Uh, the mobile app development process, the mobile app development lifecycle, and eight phases of the mo mobile app development lifecycle. These are all great reads. Uh, I've uh, put them up before and they're really helpful for students. So if you were confused about what the SDLC was or the steps and the phases in it, then click those and read them. Some examples of UML stuff here, uh, the bank example here, UML2, I'm not sure which one this one is, and then a, an example of a hotel. So just click these and you can see a little bit more. They're very simple, but they get the point across. I also have some that I can uh, upload from my computer here, which is just basically uh, some other uh, examples of driver modes of transportation, etc. I can upload those into the week one folder as well, if that would be helpful to you guys. Cool. Um, and then that should be everything that you guys can see in the week one. I'm going to upload the assignment in the assignments folder right here in assignment one. I'll make this available to you guys um, right there. And then you guys will be able to see that it's going to be due on the 20th of September. So that is the lab due for this class. Please have that done by the end of uh, the weekend because I'll just get that back to you guys as soon as possible and then uh, at least before next week and then uh, the assignment one will be due on the 20th. Okay, so um, that's it for today's class. If you can work on those things, go through the PowerPoint. If you have any questions, email me. Um, looking forward to week two and seeing you guys in the live at 3 p.m. next Friday. Thanks, guys.